Hi everyone, welcome back to One Homestead Adventures. So I know you clicked on this link thinking that you were gonna get a nice little video about Haciel and I going through some botanical gardens in San Antonio. Well, we will get there, but before we get to those videos, I will have to inform you guys on some stuff really quick. So first, I am going to try to do different playlists. I'm going to organize them. I'm not really sure how, but I, I'm thinking I'm going to have one where it's gonna be like travel and explore. That's gonna be more like fun stuff that we do outdoors, you know, like if we go to Disneyland or, you know, just stuff that we have to pay for, like the zoo or something. And if I can shoot in any kind of like educational stuff for you guys, I will do that. And then I'm going to have another playlist that's gonna be like hiking and learning more like survival-based adventures where we're just trying to be one with nature. Uh, maybe even like the camping ones will go in there. And then we're going to have the playtime before bedtime. I'll talk about that in a second. And then probably the off-roading stuff and some birding playlists. So there's gonna be different playlists depending on what you like. You can click on those different playlists as I start uploading and organizing the videos. Also in the first first video I did mention that you guys can comment down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see here on this channel but unfortunately because I did make this a kid channel YouTube has done something where comments will be turned off for the safety of you know protecting our children so unfortunately you will not be able to comment what you guys want to see so I'm sorry about that but I am planning to create an Instagram account and I will share that with you guys once I make one so the reason for that Instagram account would be just posting pictures of our adventures or you guys can see what new videos are up and you can comment there so I will use Instagram for you guys to comment on anything you want to say or ask for any of the videos that we post on YouTube. So one thing I should mention is that our first introductory video to One Homestead Adventures YouTube channel was done on the road. We were actually packed up and we literally had just topped off on gas and we were about to hit the road and start making our way to Flagstaff, Arizona. So that's how I wanted to start our YouTube channel, having you guys follow us through this road trip where we were gonna go to Flagstaff staff Arizona and stop by uh, I think Albuquerque New Mexico and some other little smaller towns in Texas and start making our way down to San Antonio Texas but unfortunately we as in me I lost all of the video footage from those like the first 10 days of our 14 15 day road trip that we had made so it's very depressing and I'm still trying to get over and past that because we ended up going to a lot of cool places, doing lots of adventures. The road trip was done on this camera, which is my point and shoot camera and then we did videos with the GoPro I think we did a playtime before bedtime video in Flagstaff so I'll probably post that one if I find it anyways moving forward to this video this video is actually picking up somewhere in the beginning of our adventures in San Antonio I had ran out of memory on my SD card on this camera and I had switch memories while we were at the San Antonio Botanical Gardens and when I switched memory I put the memory card in my purse anyways we didn't get into the actual ex like enclosed exhibits because we ran out of time we were meeting with my stepdad later on that day and he got to San Antonio a lot quicker than I expected so we had to rush out of those botanical gardens to go and meet up my stepdad so this is where the video is picking up from that memory card that I lost to the new one that I replaced the camera with and you guys will see how quickly we rushed out of there to meet up with my stepdad Again, these are the San Antonio Botanical Gardens. I will post a link down in the description box below. So if you're interested, if you're planning to go to San Antonio, Texas, and you wanna go visit these gardens, you guys will have that information of entry fees and any special events they may have while you're in town, and of course, the location. So now that you guys are all caught up, we will begin the video in three, two, one. All right, we just refueled on memory for the phone, for the camera. We wanna show you these vicious squirrels. They are just having a blast. There's three of them that I can count. Look at them, they're just hopping away. You guys can't even see them that good. Oh, you hear them? Oh, they're feeding up there. Look at them. 
They're just going crazy running amok up there. Look at them. <laughs> Enough with the squirrels. Let's go proceed. Yeah, see, it's got his Shirley Temple because the teas they had were not so tasty. Not that one's temple. so good. Soda. It's a Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple? Yeah. Yep. All right, you guys, this is a cool plant. This is a firecracker. Oh, yeah. This is a firecracker bush. Ruselia equis. D for me. I don't know. I can never pronounce scientific names. Anyways, this is the firecracker bush. <laughs> My stroller almost got away again. And this one, we can also find it in California. So it's called the firecracker bush because that's what they look, it looks like. It looks like these plants, the stem, as the flowers are being made, it looks like it's just shooting out flowers. So it kind of looks like firecrackers shooting out. I don't know if it looks like it to you guys. <laughs> but you see, it kind of like shoots out and then the flowers are at the tip. Pretty cool. Anyways, let's keep going, Hasiel. We are super behind. Look, here go the squirrels. I Look. love squirrels. Yeah, there's one right there. Let me see if I can get a picture. The squirrel is just chilling there and it let me take a really nice picture of it. He is chugging that Shirley Temple. Hasiel wants me to read this. It's a lot of reading, but there are some hummingbirds here. So that's a female hummingbird, a uh, female black chinned. Uh, this is the black chinned hummingbird. They have a ruby throated hummingbird. And these are also found in um, California. But we haven't seen any. I'm not sure if it's because of the climate. <gasps> Where did you get that? Oh no! Hasiel being a bad boy. <laughs> he, he grabbed that little bird feeder from here. He said it was hanging here, but I don't know. I was not able to hook it on there, but I placed it up there. <gasps> oh, I hear a hummingbird. You guys heard that? That's a hummingbird. Yeah, let's go see if we can find the hummingbird. All right, you guys, so I guess Hasiel is calling it for the night, <laughs> for the day at least. So he says he's tired and he's going to take a nap. This is why I shouldn't bring strollers, but I do need help carrying these cameras because they are really heavy. And we still have not found that hummingbird. I heard it. Now, no clue, nor were we able to find the black butterflies that we saw. We saw two, three, two different types of butterflies, but not the black one. So, Mommy. oh, and there's a little yellow one flying that way. Oh, I love that. Look yellow. at how cute it looks here. I, I love that one. Yeah. yeah, let's keep looking. Look at you guys, we're leaving the rose garden. Look at how cute it looks in here. Oh, we gotta take a picture in here, Hasiel. So this massive tree is a type of willow tree. Willow trees are one of my favorite because I just love how the branches kind of vine down and droop down with all of the leaves. Hence why they are known as willow. So, this is known as the Hanko Willow, Tortusa, Silici, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways, but this is a Chinese, this is from China, a Chinese based willow tree and it's super beautiful and super massive and provides lots of good shade. There's a cool waterfall. All right, you guys, we have just come to a crossroad and I don't know whether to go. Oh, that's the spot we were gonna kind of skip. Yeah, so we're going this way. And I hear like a towie or some sort of bird. Let me see if I can go and get a shot of this bird. Oh, I see him. 
I'm gonna pull out the cam the other camera. He's way up there on that branch up there. There's a bug in the stroller. Anyways, I got a picture of a hummingbird and a thrush. There were a couple and a, a mockingbird that got really close up to me. So that was neat. Anyways, the bird that was up there that I, that sounded like a towhee, the ones that are the ones that I see in California. It was actually a cardinal, which makes sense because the last time I saw a cardinal, ooh, there's another mockingbird right th there. Um, the last time I saw the cardinal, I also thought I heard a towhee and it was actually the cardinal. So that's pretty neat, you guys. I didn't get a good shot of him because it was behind too many branches, but anyways, it was there and it flew over there. But we're actually going that way. Wow. Look, you guys, there's some cute little cottage house style house. Uh, little ranch style homes tradition traditional american lawn oh texas hill county landscape oh so each house has a different landscape oh mm -hmm. and some plants that you might find in those landscaped areas this is so cute. All right, what is this one? This is a cottage gardening. Uh huh. Ooh, this one looks like a forest area. Let's see what it is. Wildscape landscape is what it says there. Yep, that's kind of more of my style. And the cottage one I like too. This one, let's see, ooh, yep. Spanish Courtyard Garden. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Cute how they added those different landscapes for us to enjoy. Now let's head back. All right, Hasel, do you think we can finish the tour in like 15 minutes? Cause we gotta head back to the car and go meet Tata at a restaurant. You ready? Let's go. Oh, by the way, that was the manicured Harriscape house, I think is what it says there. That's the landscape, you know, the first house. All right, let's head out this way. Got this cool little cottage. The old house is what it's called. Old house, the Hill Count Country Homestead. Cute, kind of like our channel. One homestead adventures. There's another little house over there. Cool, we just came on a little bridge with a neat waterfall feature. It's hard to handle. You know what, let me put my camera away, my big Sony away because we're not gonna need it anymore. This is a mountain cedar. Oh no, it's a, yeah, ash juniper tree right here. Juniperus ashy. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's go. All right, we just arrived at a Hill County home, and I think we can go inside. So let's go check it out. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. There's a nice big porch here. Cool. Can we go in here? Yeah, with some wood floors. Wow, look at the ceiling. That's beautiful. See, these are the kind of features I want in my home to give it that rustic cottage feel. Wow. This would be a room and I think that would be where everybody sleeps. Then back here would probably have been the kitchen. No. Yeah. Look at the little window. Oh, so cute. That's un rancho, yeah, it's like a ranch home is what he's saying. Rancho. With the little, with their little fencing. That's adorable. All right. Cute. Such a cute little house. You would totally live here with me, huh? I would. All right, Haciel, let's get ready to roll. I'm going to the trailer. The tree, oh, you see the trailer? Cool. Wow, look at this stuff, it looks huge. You can go in there. Yeah, we'll go in there in a bit. Let's go this way first. Hi. 
to see what's up there. So we're going up the little ramp to see what's up there and there's this little waterfall. Water's just coming down into these this rocky looking crater looking rock waterfall. Oh, he's getting off. Cool. Good cuz this was a heavy uphill battle I was having with the stroller and Hasiel in there. Don't touch it, Papa. It's nasty water. Why? Because they say it's recycled. Oh, there's not really much up here, just lights. Great. Oh. All right, we made it to the top. Lucille also conser conservatory plants under glass. Oh, okay. Now let's head back down. There's some rosemary right here all around. I'm sweating. You sweating, Hasiel? I'm sweating. Oh, look, there's water down there. Ooh, look at this cactus. That one looks dangerous. Oh, American Robin. Right in there. You guys see it? Somebody help me. Uh-oh, Hasiel, you got yourself stuck in there. Cool, and they have this area where you can play chess, this big old field. And some giant chairs. Look, Hasiel, look at the big chairs. You want to go sit on it so I can take your picture? Yeah? Okay, go. Look at Hasiel, he's on the big lawn chair. I'm coming down. You're coming down, you're going to jump. Ooh, good job. All right, let's roll. Hurry, the zombies are coming. Run through the tunnel. This kind of looks like a fort or a bunkhouse. A bunkhouse? Yeah, look. Cool. I can't run no more. Where are we going? Shoom. Christmas tree. Chris, ah! Whoa, scrape the rim. Okay, let's go this way. Huh? I don't know which way to go, but let's go this way. I'm going there. This way, Papa. It's closed over there. They're working. Wow. Oh, here's the cactus area, I'm assuming. Ooh, rare plants of Texas. Many native plants are increasingly threatened by habitat loss and fragmentation. Yes, they are. Poaching and invasive species. Invasive species means that other plants, other plant species from other places that don't belong here are coming in and invading all of the territory. So San Antonio Botanical Garden partners with the Center of Plant Conservation to protect and conserve rare plants of South Texas. Trained garden experts collect seeds from private and public lands and grow plants for use in research, education, display, and reintroduction. So there's the prostrate milkweed, Runyon's huaco, Walker's manioc, and then ashy dogweed. I think right here is the ashy dogweed that we have. Yep. Cool. Got to protect all the plant species, not just animals, but also plants. Plants are important for the animals that live here because these are the ones that they're familiar with, the ones that they live off of. For the herbivore species. Species that eat plants. This is a very common plant that we even see all over California. This is a prickly pear and this little fruit that the nopal, the Spanish term for the prickly pear that we use as nopal, that little fruit right there that you see, we can actually eat that. And I guess it says it, it's used, 
Well, there's research that suggests that that fruit, if you eat it, it lowers your blood sugar. Cool, huh? We just made it to Laser Pond. There's those trees again that were at the San, San Diego Zoo. There's one, two, three, four back there, five over there. So there's a lot of those trees. I wonder what they're called. This is such a cute little area I'll walk through. We're just gonna walk around the lake. There's a bridge over there we're gonna cross, so we'll see you guys at the bridge. Unless we find something cool beforehand. Oh, and we did find something cool. Another house, Haciel, we can go in. Hold on. Whew. I'm, cr I'm crashing. I'm crashing everywhere. Let's see what it says. Oh, yeah, log cabin. Vivian, life in a log cabin. Viviendo en una cabaña, hecho de troncos de árboles. So they use cedar, red cedar, to for those big wood stalks that you see there. This is a porch right here. Look at this. Yep. This would definitely be a log cabin, guys. So back in the days when people would build cabins in the forest, it, they wouldn't really focus on making rooms because it's just a cabin in the woods. So it would just be one single room just to keep things simple. And then of course they would add a fireplace to keep themselves warm. Isn't that neat? Wow. Yeah, they have a little shed back there. Wait, Hasil, come here. I think that's a tent. Someone might be in there. Come on. Ooh, those are those pop-up tents that I've seen. I, I wanted one. Hi. Yeah, we gotta get one of those tents. They're like the pop-up ones. And then they have that little sunshade there. Such a cool tent. And then they have the water well. Cool. Isn't that neat? They would go, they'd find a place where they can access water. And if they found a place where water is easily accessible through the bottom through a well. This one's close. Oh, there is water down there. I want to see. You can't, Bubba's. Oh, that's a heavy door. I want to see. I'll get you up there. Okay, careful. Don't fall in, okay? I got it because it's heavy. They have the little wheel here that'll string yeah. down the rope, pull down the rope that has the basket of or the bucket for water. Cool, huh? Okay, watch your fingers. Ooh, it's heavy. All right, Haciel. So once they would find water, they would know that that's a perfect place to build a cabin just like this one. That's so cool, huh? Mm -hmm. that's so, cool. so, so cool. And then of course, I see a squirrel. I see two squirrels. Of course, they would have their little garden area where they would grow their food. So they have water and then they have food and they would probably have another one of these pen things where they would have livestock. That's so neat. Yeah. The rabbits? Yep, the rabbit's there to scare off other people. All right, let's go. Yep. Look at that front porch, it's huge. I want to go in there. So cute. I would totally live in one of these too. We found a swing. Eagle Scout project. Oh. Yay, we're swinging. This is scary. Oh, my has done. Are you going to get in? Yeah. Okay, come on. I got a swing. Cool. Chilling on a swing. So relaxing. Look at those little logs. Looking like little lava flows shooting up from the ground. All right, Hasiel. It looks like we're gonna have to head out. You ready? I don't think he's ready. Mom's ready. Are you ready? You're ready? All right, let's roll. Careful, it's gonna hit you. 
All right, you guys, we are kind of lost. There's another bridge there, but we are running because apparently his grandpa got to where we were supposed to meet him a lot, whoa, oh, a lot sooner than we thought. Ah, so we're running out of here to make our way. We won't be able to finish this, but thank you guys for joining us and we will see you later. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I am sweating so much. We booked it out of that garden as fast as we could. We already said our goodbye, but I did pass a cool area, so we didn't go see the exhibits. Yeah, we're gonna meet up Grandpa, or Tata. But we saw, on the way out, there was a family adventure garden. Just word for word, I think that's what it said. Family Adventure Garden. So hopefully next time we can go, yeah, we can get a chance to go to that Family Adventure Garden and see what that area is all about. But we did have fun, it was beautiful. A lot of nice features and beautiful plants and environment and animals, birds. So we're excited to come back here soon. Bye.